government is hoping to collect 661 billion shillings in the new tax measures as part of the 21.7 trillion shillings revenue projection in the 2020-2021 financial year. The new tax measures are contained in the stamp duty, excise duty, and income tax amendment bill, among others. However, when Finance Minister Matia Kasaija appeared before the Finance Committee of Parliament, MPs rejected these new tax measures on grounds that Ugandans are already financially stressed due to the negative effects of COVID-19. For example, under excise duty, government wanted to increase the tax per each litre of diesel and petrol by 300 shillings and 100 shillings per each litre of kerosene. The crisis will be there. And in a situation of a crisis, I think it should not be seen to be raising taxes. No, no, no. Eh, people would think you are mad. So for us, we are saying we should maintain what we have proposed on the assumption, and I'm using this word delivered on the assumption, that the power prices will, will remain more or less the same but that, that would mean bringing data. The price falls or increases, kindly don't increase tax on this. Because it will increase the cost of production. And this also applies to the rubricants on number three. The situation today, the people are telling to consume your fuel. They will not consume. Nobody's moving. Nobody's consuming. And the MPs on the committee also rejected other taxes on tobacco and alcoholic products. Whereas uh, the, the disease might evolve, recovery process will take much longer. And in this recovery process, companies should not be suffering. Despite this position, Minister Kasaija asked for more time on Thursday to come back and justify why government needs this revenue. Habad Ziwa, NTV.